Ladies and gentlemen, an introduction is a prologue, not a catalog. So there are certain folk you don't have to multiply words regarding. I am delighted to introduce the Honorable Kamala Harris, Vice President of the United States of America. Have a seat. Good afternoon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And let me thank Chaplain Black for your words and the time that we have prayed together when I was in the United States Senate. I thank you, Chaplain. And Pastor Michael A. Pender Sr., thank you for the warm welcome this afternoon. And to the members of the Lee family, President Bill Clinton, Secretary Hillary Clinton, the members of Congress, and the elected officials, and all of our distinguished guests, it is an honor, a true honor, true honor, to be with you this afternoon to remember and to celebrate the extraordinary life of Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Mm. So Sheila Jackson Lee would want that we are focused on her right now, <laughs> but I thank you. Sheila Jackson Lee, to know her was to know a true champion, a fierce champion for justice. Sheila Jackson Lee was a woman of deep faith and deep compassion. She was a proud member of our beloved Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And she was a dear, dear friend to my husband, Doug, and me. Over her career, as we all know, Sheila had many titles, judge, council member, congresswoman. And yet perhaps the titles she cherished the most were wife to Elwin, mother to Jason and Erica, and Bibi to Ellison and Roy. And so to the entire Lee family, Doug and my prayers are with you. It is not easy to lose a member of one's family who holds such an extraordinary place. Sheila was just a presence. She was a presence. And it is not easy, and I say to the family, um, when a loved one lives a life of public service, and so especially someone like Sheila Jackson Lee, and I want to thank the family on behalf of the people of our nation for your sacrifices and the work that you did to support her over these many, many years that allowed her to give so much to our country. So the Bible teaches us, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as if you were working for the Lord. And everything she did, Sheila Jackson Lee worked with all her heart. As a member of the United States Senate and the Congressional Black Caucus, I had the honor to work directly with Sheila on many issues over the years and to observe firsthand her leadership. And she truly was a force of nature. When it came to her constituents, there was no task too big or too small for the Congresswoman. If it needed to be done, she made sure it was done and done right. When it came to crafting policy, 
There was no detail too minor or point of order too obscure. If it needed to be understood, the Congresswoman make sure, would make sure everyone understood it and understood it well and used it to the benefit of the people she served. To know her was to marvel at her mastery of the legislative process. We were talking about it backstage. Sheila Jackson was one of the smartest and most strategic legislators in Washington, D.C. And I will say, and we all who have worked with her and had the blessing of work with her know, she was also one of the most unrelenting. As those of us who were her colleagues can attest, there was never a trite or trivial conversation with Sheila Jackson Lee. Now, there were times, I will admit, if I saw her walking down the hall, <laughs> I would almost want to hide. <laughs> Because I knew whatever else may be on my mind, Sheila Jackson Lee would require a very serious and specific conversation with you about what she had on her mind. And then she would tell you exactly what she needed you to do to help her get it done. And Sheila Jackson Lee, that was her character. She never lost an opportunity to fight for the people she served. And her fight, her fight was born out of love. She had a big, big heart. Very few people have loved the people of Houston more than Sheila Jackson Lee. In the community, she was ubiquitous and omnipresent. Whether it was the funerals and memorial services, or the birthday parties, or block parties, she celebrated with the people. She mourned with the people. She stood with the people always. And you may not know, but Sheila and Doug, my husband, struck up a fast friendship in recent years. And they did a number of events together, including with the Jewish community here in Houston. Because Sheila, of course, was also a coalition builder. And she fought for everybody, knowing that the vast majority of us have so much more in common than what separates us. Yes, she did. And as folks in this city can attest, if you were having trouble getting your VA benefits or your social security, or if a family member had an issue with their visa, you called the congresswoman, even if you did not live in her district. <laughs> in fact, I suspect she gave nearly every person here her cell phone number at one time or another. And when you called, Sheila Jackson Lee would always find a way to help. Even if she needed to get a little creative, as some of you may remember, a number of years ago, the city of Houston faced a budget shortfall and to save money decided to close a number of public pools in the middle of an historic heat wave. Well, Sheila Jackson Lee wasn't having that. And so she called around, as the story goes, to business leaders across Houston and convinced them to donate more than $350,000, and those pools then stayed open all summer long. The Congresswoman was a leader for Houston, and she was a national leader. She was a national leader. She touched the lives of people all over our country. As a champion for women's rights, she helped reauthorize the Violence Against Women Act. As a fighter for LGBTQ rights, her support helped repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. As a lifelong advocate for our nation's children, she founded the Congressional Children's Caucus. And as a leader who believed deeply that America's true and full history must be acknowledged and honored, it was Sheila Jackson Lee whose bill made Juneteenth a federal holiday. 
which as a United States Senator, I was proud to co-sponsor. And then as, pres as Vice President, it was my honor, with the President, with the President, it was my honor, it was my honor with, the, with our President Joe Biden to stand beside Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee as our President signed her bill into law. So, I'll say this, the late, great Barbara Jordan, a mentor of Sheila's, who also, of course, represented the 18th District, <laughs> once said, and I'll quote, it is a privilege to serve the people, a privilege that must be earned. And once earned, there is an obligation to do something good with it. Sheila Jackson Lee understood the privilege and obligation and nobility of public service. And through her service, she did untold good. You know, a few days before she passed, I called her. And I expressed my sincere and deep gratitude for all she had done. And I told her she had such an impact on me and my life. You know, to know Sheila is to know how she could be tough, but oh my goodness, she was so loving and so encouraging. And she always encouraged me. And so I called to thank her for that. I called to thank her for the impact she has had on so many people. I know all of us, and in particular all of us who have worked with her in Washington, have stories to tell. She was a force, but she never allowed anything to be mediocre. She always expected in all of us that we would rise to a point of excellence, knowing life was too short and there's too much to be done. And so I expressed to her my personal gratitude for her long-standing friendship and inspiration. And I thanked her for her courage and her conviction and her relentless focus on those who are too often left out and left behind and her unwavering belief in the power that we each have to change our country for the better. So I will end with this. Sheila Jackson Lee was the first elected, first elected to United States Congress 30 years ago this year. She was first elected 30 years ago this year. Hours after her swearing in, she stepped onto the House floor and she addressed the American people. So new members of Congress have that moment where after they are elected, they will speak in the chamber to give a statement about what they intend to do with their time in Congress. And Sheila's words were simple but very concise. She said, as members of Congress, we are here to make change. Sheila Jackson Lee was a change maker. She worked with all her heart to lift up the people of her city, of her state, and of our nation. And to honor her memory, let us continue to fight to realize the promise of America a promise of freedom, opportunity, and justice. Yes. Not just for some, but for all. Amen. And Sheila, we are going to miss you dearly. We will carry your spirit with us every day in all the work that we have ahead. God bless the dear Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you all. Thank you.